Namekians aren't a prominent archetype in set 1 of Fusion World. However, they do have a couple of cards that synergize together. Sionel has a respectable 25k stat line, but once paired with another Namekian, he gains an additional 5k on your turn to be a pretty beefy beat stick. Piccolo is a good vanilla to run on his own, so provides a good body partner there. And while we're at it, we may as well include this 2-drop Piccolo to boost up our Gohans, since he might as well be an adopted Namekian. With the negging power provided, the natural pair up is with Beerus to get full usage of board removal while our big Namekians try to close out the game. And so we're kicking it off against Broly, which can be a pretty tough matchup, all things considered. But we do have the benefit that we are running a lot of 25k beat sticks. And Saunel, which we got in our hand here, also provides itself as a 30k if we're able to beef up. So honestly, we've got the Namekian hand here, and it doesn't look like we've got a ton of stuff awakening. But I think we have uh, enough to be able to apply a decent amount of pressure. And the early crits are going to help with not giving Broly additional cards. So here we swing for a beefy 20k and crit away, get some damage in while we're at it. Uh, and meanwhile, we're going to be taking these hits whenever we can because we do eventually want to draw enough cards. You know, Broly being Broly, we're going to have to put some pressure to make sure things don't go too crazy. Here we will go ahead and charge a hit. We got too many of those going. And then go and jump into one of the hits to get rid of one of the Gohan uh, Gokus. Because then he could otherwise use them to bump up to combo and defend one attack. Here, only using one is not enough to defend our 20k swings which is very much welcome. Get Broly down to five life and move on from there. We got some combo power with the Roshi if we want. Does see the destructive strength, which is always sad, but we'll just accept it for what it is. And we'll make sure to combo that away to protect our hit. Uh, one to double up, just to make sure we can keep going into our self awaken, but also because it provides an additional attacker. Swing for crit here, because why not? Ended up getting a card here from him anyway. So even if we deal damage from here, it's fine. We still got a card. Then we're going to try and dig for some more, find ourselves a Roshi, which is not super clean, but that's fine. And now we set up the Saunel, because why not? We're in a really good position to do so. Uh, no reason to attack into Broly to put him at 6, because if you put him at 6, gives him the opportunity to be able to play the Android 17 and 18, which we'd like to avoid for a turn if possible. Uh, do not protect the hit, because now hit needs combo power, and we're not going to be drawing a ton of cards. So to need the additional combo power to even deal damage feels a little iffy, even though the negging power would be welcome draw ourselves into another piccolo which is rough here we will go into the hit because we do want to self-awaken and we find ourselves a goku which is very nice we uh, are probably going to be in a position where we're going to want to use that goku to close out the game so i'm going to combo here to try and get in some damage opponent only has seven cards in hand so if we can get him to two we are in a very welcome position here especially since we can set up an abort in a way to attack with 30k, which is nice. We can use the energy marker here because, of course, we can just go to 5 next turn anyways. So now we got two Sal Nels, two 30k swings, and we could swing again. Why not get our opponent to 1 if we can? Or say Super Combo out of his hand. That is super sick. And now we're just kind of waiting around and hoping for our best here. Uh, does get the Android 17, 18, which is annoying. Obviously clears out our entire board. But if he attacks into us, we can draw additional cards going for the Double Striker. There is a strong potential there for things to go our way. So it has two energy up, which is obviously very spooky, but we'll see what we can do. Does play the Gohan, finds the Gigantic Meteor. So we know we're going to have to deal with Gigantic Meteor, but we're swinging for like 75k or something like that. And plus we get the additional draw here, get an additional 5k. We kind of just have to go for it and hope for the best. We'll get rid of the Goku here uh, and then neg him away and then hope for the best. I mean, he used up a super combo, right? What's going to happen? He's got like one meteor, but maybe we can get away from it. So he got the meteor. We knew he had it. And now he's a uh, double super combo. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, was able to get there. And we just concede on that point because there's not much reason to go on, especially once he's got the Broly. So very rough there. Unfortunately, we were close, right? I think the sound L's were good beat sticks and they applied good pressure for cheap. But unfortunately, unless we get like super combo here and some things are happening, uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing the end of it. And unfortunately, we only got 20k in our hand, which puts us at 40k and we'll lose to the double strike. Tough. Broly's going to do what it's going to do. Unfortunately, saw the super combos. I think we did as best as we could, given that we're essentially a vanilla beatdown deck. But let's see if we can do better with this second game. And next up, we've got Frieza, which naturally lines up really well for ourselves with being Red Beers, being able to get additional Neg on board and applying some good pressure here. Not loving that hand too much. And now we've got a Self Awakener, which is kind of all we're really looking for. We've got the Salonel for the setup afterwards, which is very much welcome. Here we see him go for the, uh, for the Ginyu and... I don't know. I'm like, do I attack the leader anyways? Obviously not, right? Because you really want to get that off the board. So fine, we'll attack. I considered like maybe we play Roshi and then we attack with the Roshi. Let's not think too hard about it. We'll just go ahead and swing into it. We'll get our stuff awakened and kind of work our way from there. That swings into our leader. So we'll go ahead and take that very happily because the negging ability in this matchup is really solid. We'll find themselves the Zarbon and go down to seven. We're okay with that. 
Then we're going to go and proceed, try to get some attack in. He's like, all right, fine. You want to go ahead and combo with Zarbon. Makes it easier for you to have to protect damage. I get that. I'm not going to complain too much. Going to use our Roshi here. Then we're going to set up with the additional Roshi to be able to awaken, which, you know, the awaken side is so strong and just being able to keep the board clear. So we're just going to do that as much as possible. We're going to neg here. Then we're going to use Whis, neg the Zarbon down. And now the Roshis have used up their time. So whether we use them for combo power, whether we use them to clear a 20k off board, that we're going to have to combo out of the attack anyway. It's kind of all the same. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Frieza attacks into the Roshi. Makes sense. Clear up the board. Get a draw while you can. And then plays out a Zarbon. And then passes. We know he's got the golden hand. But hey, he passed. So we're feeling pretty good here. Uh, we can Whis. Go ahead and get rid of that on board. And then we can swing and start dealing some damage. Here, I'm not feeling too threatened. There was no reason for us to play like a Goku or something like that. So we'll just go ahead and set up the sound now. You know what? Let's set up our Namekian to be able to be a big beat stick when we can we do have the four drop gohan so if we can find the two drop piccolo maybe we can get a nice setup there plays the raccoon does not get a free play off of the raccoon unfortunately so that's really rough um obviously did have the setup for the ginyu into potentially maybe another self awakener so that's a shame here uh, we are going to be able to clear out this raccoon for free so we might as well just take all our pressure and attack into the uh frieza while we can here, go ahead and swing for 30k because magic numbers are where you want to be. And we'll try to get some cards out of Frieza's hand because he is at a 10 card hand before we went into our swing. So trying to get a few cards out there will be to our benefit. Go ahead and swing for 30k. And you know what? We got one energy. Why not get a Whis out there and clear out this Raccoon? But it does go to five here. So we need to be aware of like Golden Frieza. Maybe he plays. Okay, so he plays the one drop. Rest modes the Whis. Attacks into the Whis. That's fine. That's no big deal there. Maybe he goes for like a cooler or something. Yeah, there we go. So does go into the cooler. Tries to go into our Salonel. Clears our board. And uh, we're going to protect it. No reason not to. I mean, he's a 30k. So, you know, already applies pressure on his own if he goes too hard on it. No, we're still going to go ahead and protect it, especially since we've got the removal in our hand. You know, there's like two or three different ways that we're able to get rid of this cooler with our leader ability. And that's where the power of beers really comes together. So we're going to go ahead and neg by 10k. Use our Goku because we might as well save our double striker for now. No reason to get him out early. And now we've just got good swings onto this Frieza. I did consider maybe like playing a Fuwa now to get rid of the one drop Frieza. But I was like, I'd rather just protect them right now. No reason not to. So if he wants to go ahead and combo away that Frieza, that's not a big deal in my books. I don't particularly mind. And now we've got our Namekian beat down 25k with Pickle, 30k with Salonel ditches two cards out of hand to not take it. I am okay with this. I know that there's a golden Frieza coming, but I feel super safe. I don't love comboing anything out of this hand, so I was figured, you know what? Let's just take it. It's not like our life is going to end here. Opponent has three cards in hand. We have a super combo. We should be okay. This one being tough. Like, all right. <laughs> golden into Supernova. Rest down our Salonel. Rest down our Goku. Clear out our other Piccolo, which that's rough. I was like, man, I really want to get this down with the, the beatdown. But they put in some good work. We're able to get in there. And you know what? Fine. We're not going to get there with Namekians. That's A-OK. -okay. We're going to do our thing and get in there with a Double Striker. Because why won't we? Opponent only has three cards in hand. And uh, we're in a really good position to close out the game right here. Essentially making ourselves a big, beefy 70k. Which mathematically makes it impossible for our opponent to get out of. Even if they had the DOS super combos. And we clear out game from there. When it comes to the deck, there's nothing too crazy. Like I said, we do need to make a lot of room for the different Namekians we want to run. Essentially, the only real benefit you get for running a bunch of Namekians in this deck is specifically Salonel becoming a 30k beat stick. So for what it's worth, this is really just a vanilla beatdown deck for the most part. And not a particularly good one because you need to run like the one drop here to actually be able to have enough Namekians to sometimes get his benefit off. So it's all phenomenal. And to be honest, there's very little there, but it's a funny concept nonetheless. So we fill out our Namekians. Hey, we're playing a bunch of Namekians. Why not play the Gohans? So we max out on some of the Gohans here. And then we just get our flex slots with the rest of the good red cards that at least allow us to be able to play a game, which kind of rounds out the deck. So saw this on stream once they were playing like Angel Namekians, which was really funny. But I think those concepts kind of fit better separately. So we're probably going to be hitting up an Angel Namekian deck soon. So you guys are definitely want to keep your eyes out for that. While the card pool is not super deep in the first set of Fusion World, there's still a little place to innovate and just have a little bit of fun, even if it just ends up being vanilla beat stick. But with that, I think I'm really excited for set two to bring in some new cards and really deepen the our ability to be able to have fun builds on top of which is what we're playing in the meta. With that said, I'll catch you guys on the next one.